be honest with you. I really didn't want to get up today. I got home, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I feel just so drained, like physically, and above all, mentally. I feel mentally drained. Uh, you know, a lot of it could be from work, a lot of it could be from social life. I don't really know, but I felt utterly drained. First they tell you that they love you. Then they ask where you coming from. Like you the only one feeling how you feeling. Then you like And another person that I really, really want to thank for reaching out is someone who, I don't want to say any names, but stated that when they watch their videos, it, it makes them feel happy. And in a hard time in their life right now, you know, for them to say that and basically let me know that I kind of give them a little bit of hope throughout their day, it really meant a lot. It really hit me so deep that I didn't even know what to say. And I realized that when I started making these videos, I just wanted to have fun. I wanted a reason to film, and that's all I really wanted to do. I never thought that I'd be making impacts in people's lives, and I didn't know how many eyes would actually be on me. So I want to apologize for being possibly a terrible role model in some instances, but I also want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching me grow and, you know, hanging out with me. Because in reality, I have enough time to film and do this and work and a whole bunch of other stuff because I don't really have a lot of friends. And in my eyes, you guys, my followers, all 63 or 62 of you guys are my friends. You're my friends, you're my family, and I love you guys very, very much. So the fact that you come and support me and show your love and you throw likes down and you comment down below, I love it. So don't be shy. Feel free. I'm never going to shun away. I'm always going to answer your guys' questions if you have any. Comment down below whatever you want. I'm here for you guys. And I want to thank you so, 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 so fucking much. I've been talking too long. i got to, like, dry mouth now. Alright guys, so we're back at that spot, Emerson Point. You guys haven't really got to see much of it, mainly because every time we come out here, the place closes at 7, so that means we gotta get in, get out, and it's really, really difficult when we're out here working. You know, you gotta go to work, you get off of work, and you got very little time to actually do some filming. But this time, we got my little sister, Annika. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, viewers. Hi, viewers. Say I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> She's a bit camera shy, I obviously am not. And then we got my dad trying to catch some bait. We gotta get wet, guys. Let's get to it. Where is it? Oh, you can barely even see this guy. That's different. Okay, so we left Emerson Point. The sun went down, the park closes, so we had to take off, and then we decided to come up to what we call the Skyway, which if you've seen any of the last videos, we did some fishing on the other side, which is that side. This time we're gonna be fishing out there in like these areas over there. And we're just gonna try our luck, see what happens. I don't know. It's a 
a shark! He's on something big. Up there. Ladyfish? Shark bait! Oh, ha, ha. oh no, I came out. <laughs> Ladyfish! Yeah, she got him. Really didn't slow because you're gonna take him out. Sony A5100. Yeah, this is probably the easiest and cheapest logging yeah, your mind. possible that you can find. Yeah, this is a TX100 or TX10. So oh, she's got something good. She's got a snook or a trout. Get him up. Get him up. Tie in your drag. Open season yeah. down is too is too short. It's stuck season now. It is, but uh that's so much wrapped around his jaws. Yeah, he's undersized. What is the size of Tw 28. 28 inches. Anything over 28? Oh, on it, yeah. Well the pig, he's got blades behind his gills. Yeah, your plates are nice and tight, okay? Your plates tight right here. There you go, show the camera. Nice! Good job. That's a pretty little snook right there. Alright, give it back to the side. Say, get hooked. Yeah, say, 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 get hooked. Alright, give it back to the world. Nice. Awesome, babe. Awesome. That's exciting. That's a good job, man. Where did you have to? Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. And it's catfish. Another catfish. <laughs> Jesus, Dad. <laughs> Look at this big old fin on the back. The big old fin on the back is what makes it a sail fin catfish. Oh shit. Dude, look at that. You're gonna have a long fight. He's gonna, he's gonna spoil me. He's gonna spoil me. Fuck! 
fuck, fuck. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. That's it. The whole spool, dude. <laughs> the string is not strong enough, dude. I knew it. I just knew it. He broke off? Oh. Yeah, he broke off. What do you think that was? It had to be a shark, dude. Maybe not that big, but big enough. The drag, the drag's not. Look. Yeah, dude. That's the second time on the reel that something breaks off, man. I always get a little bit of sad on the inside every time I lose a fish, especially something like that, when you know it's something that big. Hey, but at least at least he didn't break the line midway through. That's really what I was concerned about. I was like, ah, he's gonna run with everything. Let's see, what did he break off? He broke off. He broke off the uh, the hook. That's what he broke off. Can you see it on the camera, Rebecca? Yeah. Sure, you can see it. It, it, it popped. Bas sure. Basically, the hook just popped. That's what it was. It popped through the, 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 the crimp. What do you think it was? I don't know. I think it was maybe a shark. Get hooked, baby. And it is. <laughs> it's not a little one though. <laughs> he is proclaimed catfish king. I did, right? <laughs> it's like my third one. Oh, fuck that. I got pricked on my knuckle, and after that, I really don't feel like getting pricked again. Oh, uh, I dragged yours in on. catching these it's still pretty fun to be able to come out here enjoy the beautiful views and the sights the scenery family time I mean that's that's got to be the best part is just hanging out with family chilling and fishing man bad day of fishing is better than a good day of work thanks again guys for joining us for another episode of get hooked where we just catch fish we have a good time and if you are new to the channel thanks so much don't forget to hit the subscribe button because every week we got new videos of just going out having a fun time on Kagat, a massive snook. Dad caught like six or eight or 20 billion catfish, and I caught one or like two catfish. I didn't catch anything, but we still had a great time. Again, guys, thanks so much for all your support. I love you very much. Have a good one.